Welcome back, everyone. Another week of Taurus Talk here at SG Taurus. I'm your host, Matt LePan, and today we're celebrating a milestone here on the podcast, 100 episodes of Taurus Talk. And to do so, we're going to take you through some of our favorite moments in podcast history. But first, we want to thank all of you out there for listening. Without you, 100 episodes wouldn't be possible. So thank you so much for your support and all the downloads and all the positive words. But let's get into the highlights of the podcast so far through 100 episodes. We're going to start all the way back at our first episode where we had on company president Stephen Torres and company CEO Mapadard to explain why folks should choose SG Torres and explain a little bit about the history of the company. What sets SG Torres apart as a distributor in this market? We've been at it for 60 years and we've grown to know what our customers want and, and how they want us to perform for them. One of the things we've never done is, is go for the, the quick profit. We've always invested in the future. We always add people before we really need them. We've always added facilities. We've always added trucks without really a thought at the bottom line. It's more like how do we, you know, if customers say our delivery is not fast enough, well, we, then we add trucks and people. If customers say that we don't uh, have a location in a certain place where there's a lot of activity going on, then we open a branch. We didn't just include our leadership on the podcast, however. We spoke with some leadership from our biggest manufacturers, Train Technologies, and Mitsubishi Electric Heating and Air Conditioning. First, we had on Jason Bingham, the president of residential HVAC and supply over at Train Technologies. If company has not addressed culture, what's the first thing you would suggest that they do to address that and kind of build a culture within the company? So if you're just kind of getting started, the first question is why are you getting started? Because it's if the leader's not bought in, then probably nothing's going to really happen. And so which leader are we talking about that is getting started becomes the question to the answer to your question, if you know what I'm saying. That is it the leader at the top that's very interested in wanting to get started? Is it a leader in between that's very interested in trying to get started? Either one of those can be very successful, but the question is important because if it's not coming from the top, you have some other challenges you have to face. We also had on Steve O'Brien, the Senior Vice President of Residential and Commercial Business over at Mitsubishi Electric Train, to talk about the state of the duckless market. What we like to say a lot here is you're a whole home solution now, not just, hey, I'm going to slap that thing on the wall in the man cave or down in the basement, right? I think in general, the U.S. market has a fairly good understanding of the benefits of using ductless in those applications. But, I, you know, as you say, I mentioned training and education as, as a challenge for us because we, we're educating the market on the whole next wave of of what we have to offer, which I would summarize as super efficient heat pumps that can dramatically change the way people heat and cool their homes. Another highlight was helping introduce you to the Run True by train line when it was brand new at the beginning of 2020. What is Run True and how does it differ from your traditional train product line offering? You hit on the brand Run True by train. So Really what we wanted to do with really with Train Residential is to create that offering that really aligns with what we consider the value segment of the market. And so Run True by Train is is first intended to create really some separation from really more of our history of, of being a premium brand and recognizing that there's this whole other portion of the market where we have limited penetration. And so Run True is really to align around that. We also had a chance to speak with a lot of the vendors that you, the HVAC contractor, wanted to hear from. One of those vendors was Pazer. We had on their president and co-founder, Doug Little, to discuss consumer financing. Now, Doug, if a dealer currently is not offering financing to its customers, why should they be? Well, first off, financing will definitely boost their sales. It's that simple. When you make your products affordable, as I like to say, to your customers, they can say yes to you. Offering financing, or I really like to call it offering payment options, monthly payments basically to homeowners, that makes your top line products, your most profitable products, affordable for your customers so that they can buy from you. Finally, we did our best to navigate the very tricky COVID-19 pandemic with you, the dealer, by talking with Daryl Margot, the president and co-founder of Search Kings, to talk about what the market saw during COVID-19 and how HVAC dealers could deal with the market. Daryl, in this time of the the COVID-19 pandemic that's out there, there's a lot of panic in the market, and understandably so. What trends are you seeing within the HVAC and home services market right now? I would say that what we see on our end, I can see search data, and we can see lead volume. 
So search data is really how many people are actually searching on Google during different points in time. So what's happened over the last two weeks, if you think about it, you have way more people in their houses using their equipment, right? Your home, literally, people are home 24 seven right now and they're not really going out. They've got their equipment running. They have a full household of, of kids and family members. Things are actually more likely to break. So we have seen search volume for HVAC increase after the last two weeks and lead volume, especially in the Google local services program, which I assume a lot of your listeners are familiar with, where you you buy the leads directly from Google, you pay for the phone call, week over week growth is up around 50% wow. for HVAC. These were just a few of the highlights in our first 100 episodes of Taurus Talk. We look forward to being with you for hundreds more episodes of the podcast and bring you more information on the industry and on the things that you want to hear the most. I want to thank you again for supporting the podcast and our company throughout the years. It really means a lot to us here at SG Taurus and we can't thank you enough. As always, we want to thank you for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Pandora. You know at this point, if you can find a podcast, you can find us. Just search Taurus Talk. Follow along on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn using the hashtag Taurus Talk. If you have any topics you want to hear, make sure to leave them right there. And make sure to catch every one of our podcasts on our website, sgtours.com backslash podcasts. I want to thank you again for tuning in and for celebrating 100 episodes with us. We'll see you next week on Taurus Talk.